When they get to this stage, there is reaping. Yeah, when I do the quality control, when I get the cigars, I make sure they are well prepared. Uh, for cigar connoisseurs worldwide, there is no greater pleasure than having a cigar that has been made with premium Jamaican tobaccos. Well, the Jamaican cigar industry, um, tobacco in itself or tobacco use, has been around for over 400 years. Um, a group of Indians that uh, were on the island, called the Arawak Indians, um, used to use tobacco for medicinal purposes. Um, they chew tobacco to help them uh, get the edge of running long distances, um, things like that for medicinal purposes such as healing. Um, I bought the factory in 1996. I still kept the same workers, nothing has changed. Uh, I want to keep tradition. Um, to me, tradition and quality goes a long way. Tradition is um, what I feel is um, keeping the history, the rich history of the tobacco industry intact. We can go out and buy machines, of course, and you can produce a million cigars a, a, a day with a machine, but that's not really what the tradition is all about. You have cigar workers, rollers, that actually painstakingly select tobacco leaves. They roll it on the table, just like traditions just like how the Cubans used to do it, just like how the Arawak Indians used to do it. You keep it going. You, you, there's something that um, is preserved, just like a culture. Uh, Jamaica has had a rich history, historical tradition of cigars and its manufacturing. Uh, the distribution of cigars throughout the United States and the rest of the world has been done for hundreds of years. The tradition is world renowned. Jamaica has been in the cigar business for over 400 years. You know, we're not newcomers to the business. Um, whereas, you have a lot of other people that are newcomers. We're here, we've been here, and the tobacco industry here needs to be recognized. A part of the um, tradition is that we try not to do anything new that will change the product. We try to maintain quality, we maintain consistency. This factory has won medals for decades. Uh, Jimmy Chang, the master creator uh, and, and predecessor uh, that owned the factory before we did, uh, was a genius. We owe this to him because without him, um, none of this would be here. Most rewarding things for me as a tobacco farmer to put in some hard work. Hard work, you have to do it yourself to your work what you do. Six to six, seven days a week. When you plant it, the same week you start reap. Or six weeks, you left to a type of lanyard. Every cigar starts out by a leaf on the farm. You have to have quality control, select the right length of leaf. After we reap the leaves. The men take it from out the field, take it to the ladies in the huts, and the ladies tie it on. We, we add a certain amount that ties on the rail. That is the green one. I will get success in it. Um, the workers, you have to make sure that they're skilled in knowing what they're doing. You can't just make a cigar and smoke it. You have to age it after it's uh, finished rolling. Mr. Campbell, my factory manager, maintains the quality control in this factory. Nothing passes this doors without him giving the seal on it. Presently, Brighton Cigars is the only manufacturer of Jamaican cigars operating out of Jamaica. Owning Barrington House Cigars is my way of giving back. I don't have to come here, I don't have to run a cigar factory, but I see the enjoyment and um, 
the enlightenment and, and the smile on the people's faces when I come down and they say, this is my product, look at it, it's in the store. I made this with my hand. The most rewarding thing is to get the cigar in a full, in straight colors, right down and pack it back in the box and put it away. Cigars are a mood altering uh, product. If you're stressed, you're tensed, you take a cigar, you sit back, you watch television, have some cognac, have some Appleton rum or something like that, and you, you, you mellow out. It makes you relax if you're tense, you know. And it also helps you uh, to be a little bit more aware because of the nicotinic acid that's derived from the tobacco. Cigars in itself appeal to very different markets. You have a beginning smoker that would start out with a guaranteed Jamaica. Um, they would smoke that after lunch, uh, during a break, during the uh, break of, of um, work, uh, midday. Then when they get home, they would uh, graduate to a um, from the Doris, which is an after-dinner cigar. What happens at Branch and Cigars is a blended. Okay, we use a special blend, which is basically Jamaican tobacco with a mixture of other, other tobaccos imported. Right? It gives us a special flavor, special taste, and this is what cigar smokers look for. Cigar is just one product, however we have different blends and different brand names. Uh, as I said before, um, we have Pride of Jamaica, founded over Jamaica, Montalvo, Santa Cruz. It's about seven different brand names. Each brand is blended differently, and the cigars are cured over a period of time to give a different flavor, different taste. The music change that I've taken over the last 15 years is actually quality control and packaging. By pushing the Jamaican cigars and Jamaican industry abroad, it brings more awareness to the products and quality that Jamaica has to offer. We want to give an, uh, someone the best that Jamaica has to offer. So the Jamaican cigars are part of that. The enjoyment of smoking a cigar is beyond anything anyone can uh, believe, you know. <laughs> taste of Barrington cigar, a taste of distinction, the best Jamaica has to offer.